fasting, autophagy, two words that are at the forefront of many people's minds. Well, in this video, I'd like to describe the relationship between the two and especially detail some of the scientific literature on how fasting affects autophagy in your brain. I'll be referencing from a scientific review comprised of over 120 studies. As you likely know, autophagy is a cellular cleanup system, but it actually has many functions beyond simply cellular cleanup, like combating bacteria, viruses, and more. Still, I'll limit our interpretation to its colloquial definition. So I have content detailing specifics of how autophagy functions molecularly, so I won't rehash it, but the bottom line is that your cells have the ability through vesicles known as autophagosomes to consume sections of themselves, destroying what they consume. This has been thought to be helpful because it eliminates garbage proteins and dysfunctional components of the cell, thereby creating room in the cell to form new functional proteins. Now, fasting has been linked to increasing autophagy, but things get a bit less certain when looking at the brain. The reason I say that is because the brain is considered metabolically privileged. It's a spoiled brat with a nanny to take care of its every need. What am I talking about? Your brain is made up of different types of cells, and while we focus on neurons, there are also astrocytes along with other cells, but we'll focus on these too. Astrocytes support neurons. They look after them, making sure that they're well-fed and able to function optimally, and therefore the brain has its own microenvironment that is semi-independent of the rest of the body. Anytime something drastic happens to the body, the brain is shielded as much as possible. I won't go into more detail on it because it's a whole other can of worms, but neurons can be a brat, and astrocytes are the ever-patient nanny. So researchers used to think that fasting, while it leads to profound effects in the body, may not have an effect on the brain, because the brain would bolster itself to avoid the consequences of fasting. Well, it turns out that was probably wrong. A good guess, but wrong nonetheless. Fasting does seem to increase autophagy in the neurons, regardless of the metabolic privilege offered the neurons. Okay, but there are still some issues here because most people care about the health promoting effects of autophagy. So it would be great if autophagy protected against certain neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and so on. Well, there is a link between the loss of autophagy and the presence of these diseases. So no doubt having a functional autophagy system might be a key player in protecting against these diseases. However, in some Alzheimer's studies, they found that autophagy did seem to be increased with water fasting, yet the removal of protein aggregates like beta amyloid and other problematic components within the cells was not affected. So the cells were shooting blanks. It's possible some key mechanisms that influence autophagy to eliminate these components may be inhibited or some other reason, but ultimately it did not seem to have an effect. This, of course, doesn't mean fasting isn't effective, but it leans toward it not being effective through autophagy. Now, another question you might have is if aging affects fasting promoted autophagy. Well, autophagy is highly functional when we're young, and it does seem to reduce over time. However, fasting does still increase autophagy, even when older. One of the reasons is due to a level of insensitivity, a reduced ability to be flexible and ramping up and down autophagy. One of the major breaks on autophagy called mTOR is supposed to be significantly inhibited to allow autophagy to occur. And with age, it seems to remain partially active, thereby inhibiting autophagy partially as well. That said, the brain is a fascinating area to investigate the effects of fasting, but what about other systems of the body? Does fasting induce autophagy in the liver, the pancreas, the kidneys, the muscles, and so on? And is it the same effects or worse? Well, let's find out. I'll speak to you in the next video on the topic.